What's up everybody, Ranger79 here. We are back for mission tutorial number four, which is gonna be going over the trigger menu and uh, trigger actions, that kind of thing. So this might be a couple parts because it's kind of, you get a little crazy, but I wanna make it as simple as possible. And we're gonna go over a couple things. Um, we left off on uh, unit placement, which is good. So in our objectives, in our scenario, we're going to have uh, reinforcement units coming in from the east. Now we got to figure out when does that occur. Okay. Um, basically, do you want to have all these units dead first? Do you want to have these units at a certain percentage of death or um, destroyed? So, what I'm thinking, let's go ahead and hide these. All right. <clears throat> So I've already done some testing, that's why it's really late. And to make sure that we're gonna have some friendly forces in force from the uh from the west. And they're gonna reinforce when the east reinforcement forces come in, but we gotta figure out when that is. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up our trigger menu, or rules for triggers, up here. And go over this real quick, okay? This right here is basically which want to happen you're going to name something so for example a mission start uh, actually you know what let's uh yeah let's just do it we'll go over these these uh these types you have once continuous action switch condition and mission start okay uh, we're not going to use con continuous action and switch condition right now we are going to use once and mission start okay but i'm going to go ahead and go ahead and begin most of my missions, once I take off these A-10s, you want to be able to give them a message, right? Or once they even start up. So, what we're going to do is make a little, uh, we're going to go out of the mission editor. We're going to open up a script. Um, I just made this real quick. This is a kind of script I use when I ask for people to uh, do voiceovers. This is kind of script I give them. Give them um, the mission, who they are, the background, current situation. Instructions for voiceovers, um, and I'll add if they if they send me WAV files or MP4 files, I do all the editing, and then actually I actually name the file. So when I go into the mission editor, it's easy to find. It's a lot of work. Um, the green part is um, scripts that I've gotten. Yellow is I haven't. Those are old. So what we did here. I did a quick uh, zoom it up a little so you can see. All flights, this is Whiplash 1, welcome back. I'll make this short and simple, blah, blah, blah. So it's going to be like 20 second intro. So it's not going to be too bad. Whoa. It's not going to be too bad, but we're going to copy and paste this. Copy. You can do that in text, WordPad, that kind of thing, in notebook. So we want our hog flight, both of them, or all of them. Right now we have two groups, hog 1 and hog 2. They're each independent. We want them all to hear this message. So we're going to go to our set triggers menu or set rules for trigger and at mission start I'm going to type here mission start flag one okay so on this kind of uh, we're telling this we're telling the game when the mission starts right when you start it up you unpause it there has to be there's, there's no reason for a condition because it's mission start However, what's going to happen on mission start, the action is going to be flag on one. Now flag on and flag off is kind of how the, um, the trigger system works here. It um, goes off of Lua scripting and this is very basic. But So a flag on condition means flag one and flag on is true. So mission starts, that's our condition, is basically mission starts. That's why this is a unique uh, start point. Flag one on. Okay, easy enough. Now I'm going to, I can either clone this or make a new. So I'm going to make a new and I'm going to have an event that's going to happen once. So one event and you can do all this on failure, on eject, on that. We're just going to do no event. Okay. For right now. Name, we're going to say mission brief intro. Okay. Now the condition for this is we got to have a condition because it's going to happen once, but we're not telling the game what condition to make an action happen. So we're going to go ahead and go, there's a lot of options here, time 
since la time since flag. So we said when mission starts, it's maybe flag one is true. So we will put 10 seconds since um, you can change it to, but since the uh, flag one and mission start, we're going to say we want to have a message to all because all we have right now is two blue uh, client personnel. Now, if we had red and blue actually uh, clients, we actually change that, but right now it's message, message to all is fine. I'm going to control V, my keyboard, to copy that text we had earlier. Okay, and I can actually break it up a little bit, you know, but this is how it's going to look. And the seconds, this is going to display after 10 seconds after mission start, it's going to display um, this text. Okay, so let's make it 20 seconds for now. So we pop up in your right hand screen, this text. Now, if you want someone to hear something or you want them to get their attention, they might not see that pop up. They might have their heads down in the cockpit trying to turn on the A10. So go to new, we're going to add some sound. And it's gonna be sound to all. You can do coalition, do country, do group, sound to all. Now you need to use a dot wave file or dot OGD file. I have a, another video that I've done a while back on how to compress your uh, sound files in DCS so your mission file size is not huge. Okay. And I'm gonna show you how to use something that I've used uh, from other missions real quick. So before I uh, lose that, let me open up. Uh, let's find something here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna open up an old mission I have. Let's do welcome to Seuss. No operation. Pilot search. So this is an old mission, and the old missions or any mission has a .miz extension. You're you're saying okay, what's that mean? I can't get into it. I can't open it, right? Well, you can. It's pretty easy. You right click on it. You rename it a zip file. It'll ask you if you're sure. Yes. Now I can extract all. And voila, we have all the files from that mission. Okay. This for example, um, this is from pilot search. We're looking for something that's that's different. So Morse code. Alright, sounds good enough. So we'll take this, copy, I've already done this already, and put it somewhere we can find it quickly. It's put in C drive, I already have it here. All right, so we have a, and it's a .ogg, it's only 16 kilobytes. I also have this sound, computer sound. Do that again. Those are the two sounds we're gonna use in the mission for now. So I can delete this now. You can also turn it back to an MIZ file, which I don't really recommend doing, but you can. Sometimes it would be corrupted, but that's in a whole other video. Okay, so sound to all. I go to our C drive. Do the Morse one. Morse code. You can actually listen to it inside the game as well. So we're going to play it. Alright, so that's going to sound. So basically, we're going to have message to all, sound to all. Very easy. That's flag one is still on, it's still true. So hog flight will get that message. Alright, next let's go ahead and okay, so once they get airborne, um we don't want to give them the full mission. Let's say we want to give them uh the mission brief and route, like the extended brief. I'm gonna go here to trigger zone, create trigger zone, and I'm just gonna find out. So this is their their path. They should follow this path, but I'm gonna put a Trigger right about here, and we're gonna. This is a new trigger zone. Let's go ahead and put a name for it extended mission brief and radius of 7,000. That's now it's huge, but it's a reason for this. So you can barely see the text on that thing, anyways. It's right there. So if you want to read. So you go out of this on accident, you want to edit it again, go over the X is at and click on it, right or left click, and you're fine. So what's going to happen is we're going to make another uh, another trigger action. Okay, go back to our triggers. Now we're going to make, and I can I can clone these as well if I wanted to. Push the clone button, but we're not going to do that right now. New 
hog extended mission brief. You know, this is just naming them. So if you have 300 of these events, you want to be able to see what's, what's what. And what I usually do, since this is the beginning, I'll usually put 01, 01. Since this is like the beginning of the mission or like a certain segment of a mission, just to help out the flow. Because when you have 100 or some of these, it's hard to find things unless you're really looking. All right, so what we're going to do here is, so we want to have hog flight get some more information when they're in the air okay right now they're on the ground they're not going to be in the air until they until you know they take off and they're gonna circle around and get hopefully get back on course so if they go too crazy they won't but this is seven thousand meters if they're that off course they're not really good pilots but we're not going to make this an action where if it's if they don't hit this trigger the mission ends we're going to make it so it's either there here or there they can hit it I get more information. So we're gonna do part of coalition and zone. Or sorry, part of group and zone. When I told you hog one's a group and hog two's a group. We got and we gotta go to our so group, hog one. And we only have one trigger zone right now, which is extended mission brief, so we click that. Now we got that. Now do you want you gotta think, do you want both um, players to hear the message at the same time probably so what you're gonna do is you can clone this it's just clone button so highlighted or just don't scratch that part of group and zone we, we will clone it I'm sorry hog 2 now this is telling the game this is our event if both these conditions are met Here's an action. Now, how about if Hog 1's way ahead and Hog 2's having problems starting up? <laughs> that happens a lot, right? So, put the or. You like the first uh, condition, put or. So, that, that's telling the game. This event, if either Hog 1 or Hog 2 are inside the extended mission brief trigger zone, this will happen. And we're going to put this as message to all. This is put 30. And I'm not going to put the extended mission brief, but we could put extended mission brief here. And that's, I did this little testing I said to remind me to do new things. And if I usually do that, put like a test thing, I will put that in the event. So when I go through my list, I can see which ones I need to fix. Okay, so we want, do we want to have them, let's have them uh, want a sound. So we'll put new sound to all. And we'll scroll computer sound. So I should get their attention. Okay. And then it that'll be 30 seconds in text. So there we go. So we have already started a mission. We're doing pretty good. So hog flight gets their mission, their initial, their extended mission brief, and we're good there. Okay, so now I'm back to our area. Um, where we got in the video here? All right, that won't make us too long. Uh, we're gonna now let's decide. Okay, you know what? After a certain percentage of these forces in this entire area are are dead or destroyed, we want to have our reinforcements from the uh, east start making their way in here to help out their buddies. So. What we're going to do is hit our triggers again, menu, we're going to put uh, Katasi, was that group one, remember that? Let's put um, 70% dead. How this works look, can get a little confusing. So we're going to go to our condition. So we're saying this is the event we want to happen. Once you want Tossy Group 1 armor to be 70% dead. That's what we're telling ourselves. So we're going to, the condition that makes this happen is we're going to say uh, Group Alive Less Than. We're going to get our group, which is Katasi Enemy Group 1, which is armor. 
and so we're saying 70 so let's put 30 percent or 31 okay so does that make sense if 70 percent of one seventy percent of the army be dead so if if there's 69 percent still alive um or 69 percent dead um which is good then our next action is flag on let's put flag two so flag two will be true okay it's pretty easy um, i could put 30 but 31 is fine i'm gonna do the same thing here i'm gonna put triple a katasi triple a group two 70 percent dead i just did a clone there i'm gonna put triple a this time flag three now I would suggest if you start doing this a lot and have a lot of flags on and off you want to get an Excel spreadsheet or something and start naming your flags or put them in order I think Welcome to Seuss had hundreds and hundreds of flags it was ridiculous so I had to start actually putting them down on, on a Excel spreadsheet to make sure I didn't reuse them on accident okay so I use flags a lot for flag on flag off to make stuff happen okay flag is true time since flag Okay, so now we're saying, all right, for the armor, 70% dead, flag two on, armor, or the AAA, 70% dead, flag three on. So, you're saying, okay, what's that mean? Let's go back out here, and this is a part where it might get a little dicey. I've already done this, um, I've already done this in the mission editor. Or another another uh, mission, so I'm gonna save this one, and we're gonna rename this test four because I don't want to screw this up right now. All right, so I've already made a, an or a convoy unit. It's just kind of cool. You can when you want to test something, uh, we're gonna open something up, and let's go to mission uh, version twelve. I don't want you seeing everything. Surprise. So this is what I did here. Like like we did for our mobile units or for our stationary units at Katasi, made a group, and uh, what I did is I made a group Katasi enemy reinforcements, put 15 units in it, random late activation, which means they won't activate until we have a certain condition happen, which we're going to make that 70 percent of the enemy forces at Katasi are dead. Okay, that's our condition. Bear with me here. I made them custom. Speed at from start point to waypoint one is twenty. Okay, that's what that means. The speed. I hit waypoint one, they're gonna start hauling at forty three point two. And you notice how there's no this ain't checked or speed. What I'm gonna do is go all the way to the last DP destination point I'm going to lock the ETA so what, what it tells the computers to automatically compute so you can't do that you can't uncheck this here at the initial start point SP but you can uncheck it throughout the waypoints so what I'm doing is I'm telling it from the first start point you're checked this 20 20 speed and that's good because it helps them form up and they, they kind of start going their own route um, when I say custom you can have them off road, on road, line of breast, cone I should go into more detail here to help you out a little bit okay so custom they will go where you tell them to go on road if I did put on road right now they would go to the closest road and they would be lined out okay we're gonna have them go off road but not off road like this because I don't like that custom I can make them any formation I want and they're going to follow that formation all the way to the waypoints I have marked here. Okay. So let me do this from scratch to show you. Let's go all the way to one. Let's delete all his waypoints. Let's go all the way to seven or DP. Delete, 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 delete. Okay. So here's our Katasi reinforcement I made. Just named it. It's that random blah, blah blah. Now I'm gonna make said 15 
right? I'll make them all the same right now just for just and giggles. And I'll have them custom so I can put them where I want them. There. Right there. Right there. Actually, you know what? I don't want to screw this up here. Him in here. There. 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 These middle units we can make. AAA, whatever. Have a uh, Shoka's. Just going to show you guys this. So I know it's getting late, but it's a pretty big part of the mission building. I found out some stuff tonight was pretty good in testing. Hopefully it works in the mission. But we have a pretty good way of doing things with the uh, speed lock or waypoint lock. All right. So it's like a little arrowhead, okay? So right now we're custom. I can change these, air defense, Shoka. Air defense, Shoka. Now you don't wanna put like a bus or something in here that's it can't go off road that well and slow. We wanna have something that's pretty consistent across. Like right here, I might put a command post unit, unarmed, mobile command post, BMP1. Tank two tank tank uh, armor. Let's see here. This thing. Okay. So we got our unit set up. We want right. We're good. So let's go back to our one vehicle and push add. Now, right now, you notice how this is your start. It's locked, your it's locked at the required time to arrival of TO to the waypoint. So let's just do it one quick here. So we have a speed lock on. So from here, from start point to this point, we're going to have 20 kilometers per hour, which is slow, but it keeps them aligned and it keeps them when they spawn, they might start freaking out a little bit going this way, that way. It gets them back online. So we're going to add some more. So I'll add. Go here, 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 through our trigger point that I made, but I haven't showed you yet. Here, and their destination point there. Now, right now, all the waypoints are locked to speed, so they're gonna say at 20 the whole time. Well, we're gonna try something a little different. We're going to keep one on, and two, and check. Three and check, four and check, five and check, six and on DP, we're gonna put our uh, our time. Now, if we go back to SP, it's 10, 15, 10. We should have a light activation because we're gonna activate after the trigger. That is zero. That's 43 minutes. That's a long, long time. You get from this place to this place. Okay, that's a little way too long. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put that 20. You notice our time change to 43.2 speed. Set for here. Okay, so that's 20 minutes. All right. So we're gonna have them activate once 60% or 70% of the forces at Katasi are down, and they're gonna go this way. And also, I, I created a little, um, created a little uh, trigger here, but I'm not gonna go with that yet. This is Control C. Now they're right about look at these reference points here. These two buildings. We're gonna go ahead and open a new mission. I'm not gonna save that mission because I already have it saved. And we're just gonna go to Katasi. Zoom in. I said they're about right here. Boom. Control V. All right, so we're gonna do a little test and see how, how it works. Now, one thing right now, I have them on like activation, which they won't activate because there's nothing to activate. There's no condition or flag to say, hey, turn on. So I'm gonna turn that off. We're just gonna do a test and we're gonna watch them, see how they, see how they, they perform. Watch their speed. <clears throat> Mm 
hope this isn't too much information, but just want to get this this one part done, and then we'll stop the video, and then we'll redo another part, and uh, keep going on parts. You can make it easy as possible. I'm just trying to show you the custom uh, formation, how it works. All right, so they're all see other their information. That 20 down here in the corner. The, um, 20 is not bad. They're slow, but see how they're kind of moving around, getting adjusted. See that one in the middle, that Ashoka. 20 is a good speed to start out with. Okay. It's a nice little arrow formation there. It's custom. That's some heavy armor, man. That, that'll, that'll run your day right there. It's not too intensive. That's a good number. So I'm going to control Z four times to speed it up a little bit. Now once I hit that first waypoint, it should start going about 43 uh, kilometers an hour to make to make the objective time. Okay, see the, the speed going up now? Look at our time now. We're at 12.02, and we said about 20 minutes, right? So that 41, 42, I want to keep pushing control Z so we can speed this up a little bit. So going through the motions here. Oh, this turned all together. Nice. They're not they're not bunched. They're not getting out of formation. They're doing pretty good. I know this is mission editor, it's not single player, it's not multiplayer, but they're going good. Now watch these trees, they're not even gonna flinch, they're just gonna what? So there's obviously no tree collision damage. Our model, we know that. So let's see that they're still at a steady 42. And you see Katasi in the distance. The only thing that's going to slow them down here is this little uh, this telephone or this uh, power line. So, And they suggested fire, which is good. That was actually probably one of the waypoints on accident. So we're at 1215, 1216, 1217. And the clock's in the right-hand corner. 12, 19, 12, 20, and they're right where they should be. They're right. I mean, it's that's pretty damn good. I'm going to head uh, shift Z in Zulu, and boom, they're where they're supposed to be. Okay? Outstanding. Now, at any time with those waypoints, we could uh, change the waypoint, or we can change the waypoint, we can change their formation, um, that kind of thing. So, let me show you real quick. It might change your speed though, because you're changing the way they're doing stuff. They're not going to be as fast. So let's say uh, when I get four, well, I'm going to go to a line of breast, line of breast, diamond. Okay. We're also I can also show you something real cool. All right. You notice, I'm going to highlight waypoint one. And say you want to add a waypoint, but you don't want to restart from scratch. Like, man, I don't want to. Simple. Just click on the waypoint. And if you want to add a, if you want to add a uh, waypoint after one, it's going to go here or wherever you put it. But if you want to put one back here, you have to highlight the SP and then push add. But we're going to say we're just going to put one after waypoint after one. Add. Left click. There we go. Now, only problem is. Now it's locked to your speed. So we're going to take that off. And boom, we're back at 43.2. Okay, now once they go out of the, the only problem is, is uh, I believe once they go out of the, uh, once you take them out of the custom, if you go like line of breast, they won't go back to custom. We can do a, a test though. Custom, let's go diamond, then custom. Let's see what happens. I don't think they go back to the custom, but they might. We'll see. Kind of cool. Speed it up a little bit. We're at twenty.
And they start hitting 40. Oh, there we go. So now they're going to change direction. Let's see if they change their formation here at waypoint 2. Okay, they just changed. Whoa. Yeah, they got a little crazy. See how that's like ape shit? <laughs> that's not good. Okay, so they're trying to figure out what their actual position in the convoy and see how it's all jacked. Their time's getting curl crazy. They're still at 43. Not too bad, but it kind of hoses them up a little bit. They didn't really do... You can actually have put a hold marker if you want. Have them hold for a while. I'll show you that next. Oh, it looks like they're back in a somewhat of the custom. I mean, it's not too bad. The Shoko's in the back trying to get up there. All right, power lines. I should hit line of breast. So actually, you know what? Looks like they did actually go back to custom. Look at that. Looks pretty damn good. Took them a little while, but you don't want to have too many hiccups like that because something could hiccup in those. Oh, there we go. They just hit the little line of breast. Looking sexy right there, man. About to engage some shit. Okay. That is nice right there. I like that. I got one tank lagging behind, but he'll be alright. They got their fields of fire. And let's see what we had it on. I forget what we had it on for the uh for the last last uh the DP destination point. Let's see if we were put if we're back in custom or no. Don't remember. I think it went diamond, didn't we? Yep, diamond. Let's see what happens here. It's gonna be a cluster because they're all they're all waiting for them to be back in their order they're supposed to be in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So they're you know, they're trying to get back in the order. So it could be a little cluster here like this. It's like a freaking derby. Yeah, I don't like that. Okay, but you get the idea, okay. So now let's go back. Real quick like let's say at waypoint one or waypoint two I want the group to hold. Hold. Okay. Now stop condition. This will stop them from holding. Duration. This is minutes. This is seconds. I want one minute. They're gonna hold for one minute and start their route. So this probably will affect the time. Let's see. It should. Uh, let's see here. That might be a problem because now it's still the same time, but we had them hold it for a minute. So let's edit. Let's look at this again. Duration one. It might just stop it. Let's just try it out. They might just uh, say F you and I'm not holding. We'll see. But the vehicle traffic is iffy sometimes. Obviously, I had a rant about my happy bus. My happy bus wasn't too happy. They were going in rivers and, you know, giving people the finger. On am route to Katasi. It was bad. But <laughs> that's a whole other video, and we're past that. All right. So, here we go. To waypoint two, they should hold for a minute. Okay, they're gonna hold it. They're trying to go to the, to go to the diamond formation. These guys are mating, whatever they're doing. All right, get back information, dude. You know, holds everyone up when they start up again. It's kind of a slacker. There we go. Now they're going back to the custom. And their time is still, or their speed is still 42, so they're not going to, they, if you do that too long, they're not going to make their, their, uh, 
the destination. Alright, let's hurry this up a little bit. Alright, line of rest, we're at 1217. Alright, I took him 1222, so. You use the whole function if you want. Oh, that looks sweet. Look at them. They're all like, what? That's nice. Alright, so. I will. So we didn't really go over. So, went over that. Let's go ahead and open up our mission again that we're working on. It was a uh, test version 5. I believe. Yeah, let's go ahead and open this. Bring these guys. Control C. Sorry about this. And we set it between these two buildings here. Control V. All right, only thing I'm gonna do now is make sure they don't hit the power lines. Looks like they're okay. They're not gonna hit them directly. And this is, and they're good. They're gonna stop right here and we're good. So when do you want these? We're gonna, we're gonna figure out. So once, when is it gonna activate? When the, the uh, menu, the uh, trigger menu, we said, if 70% of the group 1 armor for Katasi is down, flag 2. If 70% of the AA, AAA is down, uh, flag 3 is true, flag 2 is true for this. So how do we make this activate? Make sure it's still on by activation, which it is. We're going to put a new trigger. Uh, Katasi... Reinforce events activate. Okay, now the condition is going to be flag is true. We said flag two, clone it. Flag three. So flag two and three both must be true for this to work. Go here, group activate. Katasi enemy reinforcements. Boom, there we go. So, real quick overview. Went over some things, uh, went over uh, vehicle movement, even though I wasn't planning on it, but just kind of showing you the formations, um, waypoints versus speed lock versus uh, um, time lock, and how I'm, I'm actually computed the speed to the uh, destination point. Went over trigger zones, and you can also let's say you want to hide these trigger zones. Simple, hide all, hide all, enable all, show all, show all. When you have something like this, let's go ahead and save this real quick. Let's see if I can show you. Open, let's see here. Gosh, that's a lot of them. 28 Feb. All right, doesn't look too bad, all right? Show all. When you have that many trigger zones, it's a little crazy okay so that's why these functions are there show all hide all okay this is just a pretty elaborate crazy miss here's our events I see I was talking about you numbering them and you put in uh, backspaces for different events major things so all right, so we went over um, went over trigger zones, the basics of the trigger menu, how to put flags not true, uh, true and false, or off and on. We uh, went over late activation a little bit, and our next video we're going to talk about um, more in depth on um, trigger zones. At least we're going to make our mission come together with the reinforcements, U.S. reinforcements. And we're also going to add a little surprise in there that if our U.S. ground forces take too many casualties, we'll have an option, a radio menu option for the A-10s to call in for SC-25 support. I'll show you how to do that as well. So we got a lot to cover. I hope this helped a lot. I hope it wasn't too bad. I know it's late. I've been trying to do this video for a while, but I, I went, the first video, you guys didn't see, I went way too much and I had to break it down a little more. It was just too much. 
So hope you enjoyed. Next video will be over. Mission uh, or trigger actions continued and radio radio actions. So, Radio 7-9 checking out.